What's Gucci YNG? I'm Jesse. And I'm Sarab, and this is Why Are We So G News. Why are you so G, Jesse? I don't know, Sarab. I really don't. Well, maybe it's because you're in one of those new barracks that we have. Actually, now that you mention it, having a bathroom with a store on it has really boosted my ego. With more on this developing story, we have Ross and Shannon getting comfortable in their new cribs. Two delegations have found themselves in the old barracks, says Bob. Inside, the conditions are poor. Towels are becoming dislodged from the ground. The privacy in the bathroom is limited to a single curtain, and the walls are cracked and graffitied. The condition of the old barracks begs the question, what are the new barracks like? Shannon Nelson is about to find out. We're here at the NCDM Girls Barracks. Let's go check out the new renovations. Hey, welcome to my crib. Oh yeah, we painted the walls. They're a lot nicer than the old ones, and the floors are definitely an improvement. So if you want to cruise on over here. So, oh, yeah, those are, those are some big snacks. Instead of troughs, there's some new urinals. Wow, what a game changer, don't you think? I've got two words for you, game changing. Now to Katie with World News. Yesterday, a gay rights protester was detained in Voronezh, Russia. Pavel Lebedev unfurled a rainbow flag during the Olympic torch relay as the torch was being run through his hometown. Olympic security tackled Lebedev into the snow while awaiting police. With the Sochi Winter Games just around the corner, Russian President Vladimir Putin's legal ban on gay propaganda has continually sparked international controversy with controversies between athletes, political leaders, and homophobia surrounding the games. Thanks, Katie. With a shockingly low turnout last night at the YNG Film Festival compared to last year's square dance, some wonder, why YNG? For more on this, we go to Ross and Trent. There's thousands of unoccupied seats. As many delegates are complaining at this hour, they'd rather just go to sleep. Well, it's a bit low energy, kind of tired. You gotta get back to the barracks, sleep for a while, you know. Long day. You know, I think it's really good to have, like, new ideas and stuff, but, like, our delegation, we didn't even hear about this film festival until today. So, like, I really would have liked to, uh, like, contribute, but we didn't know about it. There wasn't really much information about it. No one really knew what was going on. After sitting in a uh, session for, like, two hours, no one really wants to stay. And there's also been calls for a return of the square dance, which was removed this year and replaced with the film festival. Yeah, I want the square dance back, to be honest. Yeah. The project organizer, Jimmy Goga, intends on improving the festival in future years by getting the word out earlier. He was quick to remind us that social events often need a few years to develop. As the wise Beyonce Knowles once said, who runs the world? Girls. Last night at the Big Top Tent, both male and females went up to speak to young ladies of YNG. The purpose of this discussion was to inspire in and empower women to stand up, speak up, and run the world how we see it. More on this female domination, we go to Holly. After the candidates' speeches, delegates met in the forum tent with Landy Watson, head of FLIP. I started FLIP last year after the Women in Leadership session that was hosted by the female board members and uh, the chief of staff. And I actually started the program by myself, but I did work with a lot of my close friends and those girls who hosted that first session. FLIP is an organization to promote women's positions in youth and government and gender equality. FLIP's main goals are to motivate women into office leadership and represent women in youth and government. Since the formation of FLIP last year, the organization has seen more male representation. I would consider myself a feminist. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense to me to discriminate based on gender. Overall, female leaders in power has proven its success and grown in number since it's first started. That's right, Sarab. Go make me a sandwich. Maybe later. Finally, we got to talk to some of our YNG delegates about what YNG means to them. What does YNG mean to you? To me, YNG is the fostering of new opportunities and trying things you've never tried before. Everything. Everything. The world. Fun. Shrek. It's a chance for people 
to be someone who they actually are and they can't be at their home. YNG means like youth and government. <laughs> uh, social networking. It means an opportunity to speak your own opinions. Family. Rage. Rage. Rachel. <laughs> Rage. Raging. Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. Y and G is our Ohana. Family! I am standing in front of the headquarters for political parties. I had the chance to interview each of the committee chairs. Let's see what they had to say. Hello, my name is Nate Posen. I am the chair of the Wonka Party, and uh, essentially what we stand for is equality of opportunity regardless of race, gender, or sexual orientation. What we want for everyone is that golden opportunity that Charlie had in the movie Willy Wonka and the, Charli and the Chocolate Factory. Hi, my name is Ben Lezebnik and I'm the chair of the Block Party. The Block Party stands for two main issues, which we believe to be the two defining issues of our generation. The first of these issues is equality. The second issue that we believe is essential for us to solve and address as a generation is climate change. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Boss. I'm with the Search Party, and our party stands for three things. That's education reform, equality, and job creation. Hi, I'm Benjamin Combs-Perez, a representative from the, from the Grizzly Party. And what we stand for is education reform, job creation, and health and safety. If you're interested in health and safety, you should come to our party. The political parties are starting their recruitment process a lot later this year. They're starting this at Sacramento because they believe that everyone should be informed before they make their choice. This is Haley Tangen broadcasting to you from Camp Roberts. That wraps up our coverage for Bob, too. I gotta go make Jesse a sandwich. Hmm. So from everyone here at Why Are We So G News, stay beautiful, YNG. See you at Club Bob. Good yard. All right. Cut. <laughs>